Hey y'all, welcome back to Mudged Up Guitars. Today for you, I have the black-hearted rack on tour named for our little black-hearted body recess there. Um, this guitar here uh, was an Ibanez Talman, I believe that's the way it said, uh, TC420 um, 90s guitar. Uh, since then, it's gotten a lot of work to it matted out all the finish made new guards all around i actually used the original pit guard for the uh truss rod cover there um also has a seymour duncan uh 59 model uh humbucker so like a 59 les paul uh humbucker is what that's imitating uh and this is a kent armstrong p90 uh that's actually humbucker sized a little bit older of one when they still offered the uh, the black metal case on it, not the black plastic case they do now. Um, so this is a bit more modern sounding, bit more gritty, definitely uh, a lot more highs than our uh, very vintage vibey sort of humbucker uh, up the neck there. As for the control layout, we've got pretty standard master volume, master tone. Uh, the master tone is a little exceptional in that it's a 0.033 microfarad capacitor as opposed to the 0.047 that's typical for this setup. Um, but since we're running slightly brighter uh, P90s and some of the additional setups, I'll show you. I actually went for a little less there, so you can actually dial it up pretty good um, and still get a good range of your tones. And you have a lot more granularity uh, as to, you know, a lot more usable range in the tone knob, essentially. Um, the up on the horn here is a blend knob. Um, so this blends between the two pickups. Nice little indent at the center position there, too. Also has this lovely uh, uh, zero to 100 uh, late, little, little uh, metal um, washer around it there. Uh, so there's a lot of there's a lot of vibe, especially around this 50% um, position when combined with our three-way selector switch, which in this case is not a three-way pickup selector switch. No, this is a uh, only concerns the neck humbucker. So right now in the foremost position, uh, that is tr the, a traditional humbucker, uh, but wired out of polarity with our rear position. So this was this was very much a uh, Jimmy Page trick. He used that for a lot of his kind of nasally tones that he managed to get out of Les Pauls. Uh, in the middle position, it's the typical in polarity. So at 50%, you get that normal warm blend. Uh, but it's a really nice blend between the traditional classic vibe, warm, smooth highs of this and the much more bright, uh, modern grit of the Kent Armstrong. Uh, and then in the uh, back position, uh, actually just switches over to the front coil of these two coils. So this back coil is actually not in use uh, and it's wired out of polarity with our rear position. So once again, we get a lot of interesting stuff going on around the 50% blend knob. Um, this allows you, combined with the tone knob, to not only control the high frequencies of your tone, but the low frequency of, low frequencies of your tone a lot more too. So I've uh, I decided not to use the little pig nose setup anymore um, as even of a playing field as that gives for everybody's tone, I kind of want to show off the tone of these guitars a little more. So I've got a little more uh, mystic vibey sort of setup going on over here, but hopefully it'll be enough for you to get the idea. So let's start off our journey here uh, in the rear position. Bridge pickup, tone all the way up. Now we'll go up to the neck. Now 
let's get weird. Let's start going in between the two. So let me back up here to get it in frame for you. So right now I have them out of phase with each other. So as I turn to this 50% percent position, it's hard to say, listen to the change. So at 50%, it's actually a lot quieter. But if we go a little off of 50% towards the neck, get a little more warmth. And if we go towards the bridge, get a little more grit. sound like added together instead of subtracted from each other. Now let's explore that single coil. I'll just start with the single coil by itself in the neck position. Compared to the humbucker. A lot more telly kind of vibes, especially once you start rolling back the tone a little bit. very nasally it's like the four position on a strat get that quack we go a little towards the bridge side sit here and have fun with this thing all day but i think y'all get the idea uh this has been mudged up guitars this is the black hearted rack on tour uh if you're interested check the reverb shop um it might still be for sale if somebody hasn't snatched it up already thank you for your time